I promise you, I do not lie to you guys. I do not watch video reviews of movies I hadn't seen. I'll see quotes and sentences on Twitter and such, whatever, reactions, but I do not watch full video reviews of a movie that I have not seen. Went to go see this movie today, by myself, no one in this theater, and I walked out and I was perplexed. I was like, lots of thoughts in my head. And so I went on YouTube and I only saw the thumbnails of two people that I follow, and that is Sully Streams and Zach Pope. Love you guys if you're watching this. But uh, yeah, their thumbnails alone, I agree with. I Saw the TV Glow stars Justice Smith and Bridget Payne and is about two teenagers bond over their love of a supernatural TV show, but it is mysteriously canceled. From the studio of A24, which I love, honestly. Hey, A24, if you're watching this video, my name's Jacob Hubbard, I'm a director. Let's work together. Anyways, A24 is one of those studios where they make movies that are just different. There is something that out there that when people see A24, they do want to see those kind of movies. And then there's people out there that when they see A24, they're like, oh, it's going to be weird, don't want to see it. That's honestly very fair. I saw the TV Glow has been getting a good word of mouth the past few weeks, and it's finally getting a wider release this weekend, and it was actually in a theater near me, and so when saw it, and I... Wow. Uh, okay. This is gonna be a very interesting review without spoiling anything, because again, it's A24, a very mysterious movie. Beginning with the positives. Justice Smith is a good actor. Now listen, I will say this. I reviewed Fallen Kingdom back in the day, and I thought he was pretty bad in that movie. He has really proven himself that he's a very good actor, and this is one of his best performances. I think he is very, very good in this movie. Even though his character work can be kind of confusing towards the end, I think out through the whole movie, he gives a performance that is very vulnerable, but also very motive in a way where this TV show and his relationship with this TV show is an obsession and it grows and you see it on screen and how his other character work in this movie because it jumps through time a little bit you can see a change and I think Justice Smith does a very good job Bridget Payne also is very good in this movie her role is very more weird you could say and uh i think she does a very good job i think every performer in this movie is very good but our two main performers are just they're very good in this movie the cinematography i i, I as a person that makes short films and doesn't have a high budget i have to do my own lighting it's hard to do lighting man it's really hard this movie has some gorgeous cinematography and i'm talking gorgeous there are shots in this movie i'm like how did you do it Honestly, there are shots. I'm like, how did you do it? Is that CGI? Probably is. And the lighting, the coloring, the shot selection, the movement of the camera, the blocking, it is seriously so damn good. And then the director of this movie, I have not seen the last film from her. Her name is Jane Showburn. Showburn. I have, sorry if I screwed her last name. Uh, I've not seen her last movie, the one about the fair or whatever. But I think she really had control of this movie. I think she has a vision. And you can watch this movie and be like, yeah, this person has a vision. But that's where my issues start to become really heavy with this movie because I feel like this movie has messages, themes, and something that she wants to tell in her story and how this film is progressively getting weirder, you could say, with this TV show and our characters and the growing obsession over why it's cancelization. It becomes a story to where... I truly believe there are more questions than answers in this movie. And now... This is a movie where it's like, it is supposed to be open-minded. It's supposed to make the audience think. And I totally am fine with that. I get that. There are movies out there that I like that make you think more than you actually are seeing. But this movie is so weird and different and out there that it never really caught me in the very beginning. I think it did do a good job with the theme of like, Kids who grew up with the 90s watching TV shows that are really bad. Like, they're really, really bad, and they're kind of creepy. Like, I have that kind of stuff. I mean, Bear in the Big Blue House, I mean, it's not really a 90s thing, but still, that show is bad. But, like, there's creepy stuff in that show that I grew up with, and I watch it today, I'm like, ugh. And this movie does a good job at that story and that theme, and I like that a lot. But the relationship between these kids and the show and the TV glowing and what that means for our characters, I truly think they add way too much 
to the weird, and they create a story that I myself never latched onto. I was sitting there the whole time like, this is a beautifully shot movie. There is some great music, there is great just shot selections, great acting, but the actual story itself and what it's trying to say, I don't know. And by the end of it, I'm thinking to myself, it's going to be one of those movies where like, I need an ending explain video. And I don't even know if I'm going to even watch it because I never got into it. I was never like in love with this world. I was never in love with what was going to happen in the end of the movie because I don't think the story never set a balance. It never set rules. It never set up anything to where something progressively is going to happen and these characters are going to go on this journey. That never happened for me. And when they're playing with time, I think that was honestly the worst mistake because I feel like the characters themselves had better moments than things that happen in the end of the story. Again, this review is very all over the place, and that's what I feel like this movie is. I feel like it's all over the place. But again, the 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 cinematography is going to be the talk of the movie. That's honestly carrying this movie. And I'll be honest, there are times where like sometimes it feels like euphoria where like the cinematography is overbearing any character work or any particular moment in the story where it's like, "Oh, look at this cool shot," but like this moment's really important for Justice Smith's character, but like, "Oh, look at the purple colors and the lighting and all that stuff." Sometimes I'll be honest, I'm like, "You're doing too much." There are times where it works and there's times where like you're doing it to make it look good. That's fair. That's fair. But in my opinion, this movie was more artsy than actually good. I'm going to give I Saw the TV Glow a C-. And I am ready for the comments of saying, you're wrong, you didn't get it, this is a great movie. And you know what? That is the best thing about art. It's very subjective. There's going to be a movie that just hits you home, and then some movies just not going to do so. I'm on that right now, and I'm very excited to see my other friends' reviews because I want to see what they said. For me, it was just too weird, too artsy, too much for... This definitely is a movie, it's like, hey, this is an A24 movie. This is a movie that was trying to be that A24 movie that we always reference. That's that's the best review I can say about this movie. <laughs> anyway, guys, guys, enjoy this movie review, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.